Hey guys, um, the, I am going to um, take a look at Deschutes Brewery, which makes some really great beers, Twilight Summer Ale. It's a seasonal out of Bend, Oregon, um, and I did some quick research in advance to find out exactly what category this is best uh, evaluated in, and there's some mixed mixed um, opinions on it. So. Deschutes website doesn't say specifically, it just says a golden hued ale. Um, Rate Beer, I think, has it categorized as a blonde ale, and I saw it somewhere um, as an American pale ale. So there's some, there's some question going on there as to what kind of beer it is, but hopefully giving it a taste uh, will let me know. So um, let's take a look. I was really excited because right now I'm doing some beer research for a, a barbecue uh, company barbecue next week, and I'm going to be buying the beer, and I'd like to have something, you know, specifically summary. Um, and I'm leaning toward, I'm not sure why I'm telling you this, but here it is anyway, I'm leaning toward um, Anchor Summer Wheat, uh, and then probably a darker style beer. I haven't decided exactly what yet, but um, I, I thought maybe I would tr try this Twilight by uh, Deschutes because they make great beer. So anyway, babbling about things that you might not care about. So let's check into this. Hmm. It has a nice and light and fruity um, smell, which I'm in, which I'm interested in. Um, almost like an apricot scent. Not a lot of um, aroma going on. It's it's very light, and so um, it's like, what kind of beer is this game? Um, and in that respect, it seems like a blonde ale. Blonde ales are so mellow. Sometimes it's hard to pick up aroma, flavor, etc. Um, but let's go in and take a peek. Um, as far as color goes, you can see it's a beautiful golden color. Um, it poured with a little bit ahead. It dissipated pretty quick. It looks like it's mildly carbonated. Um, flavor. Ah. Yeah, um, it has a lot more flavor than the aroma would suggest. Um, there's some hoppiness going on in there. Um, there's some sweetness going on in there. It almost has a lager sweetness to it. Yeah, I would categorize it um, as, a, as an American Pale Ale. I'm relatively certain that's what it is, um, just based on the fact that it has a pretty decent hoppiness. So if I go real quick and take a peek, um, Pale Ale on 18, um, it has um, 4.5 to 6.2% alcohol by volume and an IBU of 30 to 45. And um, I had looked and then copied and closed the website. Deschutes says um, has an IBU of 35, so it's right there in the middle of that category. Blondale, I think, is much lower, so I think if we're trying to decide how it should be categorized, that um, probably um, American Pale Ale is the way to go. Check one more page here. Yeah, um, a Blondale. <laughs> Hi, Landon. Uh, a Blondale would have um, IBUs of 15 to 28, um, and, um, excuse me, um, and um, an alcohol by volume range of 3.8 to 5.5. Um, so I feel like based on the IBUs and the alcohol by volume that we're definitely looking at an American Pale Ale. Um, it also profiles some nice um, hops in it, so I think that's correct. Um, as far as the flavor goes for this, um, it's really, really good. It's actually pretty well balanced, um, given the, um, the hoppiness that I'm getting in, in the flavor, um, but it's sweet, um, and, um, slightly tart, um, and has a little bit of a bitter finish. Very well done, very well balanced, um, I can see why it's a summer ale. It's, um, juicy and, uh, drinkable, um, 
and um, pretty well done. I think this is a pretty good beer. So share with me down below if this is something that you have tried. I would like to hear. I picked this up at uh, Whole Foods because um, I, I don't know, I had a beer weakness when I went and I got a whole bunch of random things. So we'll see what comes out of reviews tonight. Um, but um, good beer, I think. And um, share with me your opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.